Hey, it's Pastor Joe. Not coming to you today from my office at Martha Woods Presbyterian Church. Instead, I'm coming from the top of the 1792 bridge over the St. Johns River. I'm just about halfway between Seminole County and Volusia County is over my shoulder. But I wanted to bring you out here to talk a little bit about something we have coming up at the church. To get there, I want to say a little bit about my childhood. I think some of you have heard me tell the tales of some of the adventures we used to have. One of the adventures we had was, was coming up on top of bridges like this. In fact, one in the St. John's River up in Jacksonville. And we would jump off the bridge. So I want you to look across the way and you're going to see the I-4 bridge. Get a sense of how high we are. We're about maybe 40 or 50 feet above the river. And we would climb up to the top of these bridges and then we would stand up there and leap off. But here's the point. When you get up there, like we're up here right now, and you start looking over and think about jumping, it's really scary. It's so scary that you kind of have to build up the courage to do it. And it takes a little bit of time to get there. And that's what I want to talk about today, is what is it that gives us that, that courage, that ability to push through a bit of fear and to do something like, you know, as crazy as it sounds, jump off the bridge. I want to talk a little bit about how we find that kind of courage today. You know, we're in the midst of COVID-19 and there's, uh, there's a lot of things in the world to be scared um, about. And so it's not about getting rid of fear. It's really about how do we find the courage to live today. So this new series I'm going to start Sunday is called Living Courageous Lives. In other words, how do we go about finding that courage to live our lives today when there's so many things pushing on us and probably creating some fear? So to get into this series, uh, I'm, one of the passages I'm going to talk about is Psalm 27, verse 14. And as I look out over the water, I can tell you the psalm. It says, wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. And that's the key, isn't it? How do we get courage poured into our hearts? Because I think if we can find the answer to that, we stand a far better chance to, to live our lives out in a way that not only makes sense, makes sense to God, and gives us real joy in living. So we're going to explore this over the next three weeks. Hope you'll join us uh, in worship. You can join us in person. You can join us online. I'm not going to tell you to join us up here and uh, way up on top of this bridge and looking over. It's a, it's a bit high, but uh, it's going to be nice and safe as we explore living courageous lives.